Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to find the surface area of a cube. Well, a cube is a prism where all three sides, length, width, and height, are all the same. All three measurements are the same. So what I've done is I have got a cube with a side of S, which we don't know the length yet. We're going to plug that in in a second. And I've drawn the face of one side of the cube here. Now to find the area of this one face, we are just going to take the side and square it. So it's just a length times a width, but since they're the same, we can just square that number. And that gives us the surface area of one face. But we know that a cube has six equal faces, so we can just take six times the area of one face, which is side squared. Now let's plug in a value. Let's say that the side of our cube is three. So let's just plug in six times three squared. Based on the order of operations, we're going to square three first. So three squared is nine, and six times nine is 54. So that would be the surface area of the cube, 54 squared units, squared inches, squared feet, so it's fairly easy to plug in. Okay, let's just change it up slightly. Let's say that you're given the cube, uh, the cube, but this time, instead of being given a length of one of the sides, let's say you're given the length of the diagonal. Okay, let's say that the diagonal measures eight the diagonal of one face. So we're looking at this measurement right here as being eight. How would we find the surface area? Well, there are a couple things you need to know. This square has a 45, 45, 90 triangle embedded inside it, all squares do. So this angle's 45, this angle's 45, and I have a 90 degree angle. So to work from the hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 back to the side, I'm gonna divide by the square root of two because that's the rule, divide by the square root of 2. So 8 divided by the square root of 2 is 4 square root 2. And that gives me the length of the face. So the side is now, now we know is 4 square root 2. Now we can take that and plug it into our formula. So we're going to take 6 times 4 square root 2 quantity squared to find the surface area. Again, we have to square the 4 square root 2 first. So 4 squared is 16, and the square root of 2 squared is just 2. So the side squared is going to be 32, because 16 times 2 is 32. That gives us the area of one face, but we need to know the area of all six faces. So I'm going to take 6 times 32 and I get 192 square units, and that would be my surface area. So that's how you do one that was a little more difficult, where you're just given the side or the diagonal of the cube. Hope this video was helpful.